everyone. Welcome in. Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's time for Snacks Around the World. As you saw in the thumbnail, I got my new Munch Addict box. That is a subscription box that I pay for, not sponsored, all the usual blah 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 um, just something I decided I wanted to try out for a little while. And this month's box, interesting stuff. I have already opened it up and dug through it a little bit, and I'm going to be trying three things today. We'll see what I just kind of reach in here and grab. This one that was propped up on the front, though, I'm trying that straight away because it's balls. We're trying balls. And yes, I have to say it that way. Balls. That's where I'm from. You got to say balls. I know it doesn't sound like I'm from there normally, but I'm not from here. These are from Indonesia. And the bag is in several different languages, which is always interesting. Plus, there is that Nutrition Fact sticker that's put on the outside when it's something that is imported. These are mostly a corn flour thing. They're cheese balls, essentially, from what I can tell. They are rasa cheese flavor. I don't know what rasa cheese is or if that's even what it's referring to, but they look like cheese balls. I have scissors because I know that this kind of packaging is usually Deborah proof and I don't want to just tear down where it says to tear down because then I'll have a little bitty hole and you can only get out one ball at once. That's not happening. So scissors it is. That's how it's spelled. That's how I'm going to say it. Ooh. Oh wow, they smell super cheesy. I keep saying cheese and Oscar the cat is like brown, brown, because he loves it. Some cheese. Anyway, the Usagi balls. And I can't tell if that's a happy bunny or a sad bunny. Can somebody decode the the emoji kind of character there for me? Alright, let's try this out. They're kind of crumbly. Crumblier, I always judge my, my cheese balls by planters cheese balls because that's what I grew up with as a treat at my great grandmother's house. A little crumbly, a lot more air in it than a planter. Hmm. They're good. I'm just trying to I'm trying to identify the flavor they actually taste like. I mean, yes, they taste cheesy, but I don't know what kind of cheese. And I don't, want, don't know what a rasa cheese is. So, yeah, the bag just got taken from me. Oscar asked for another one. Oh, Oscar asked for another one, which he will. He'll eat that whole bag if we let him. Anyhow, if you like cheese balls and crunchy snacky things, and you see those in an international market, grab them. You can say you've eaten a snack from Indonesia. I ate a little bit of a snack from Indonesia, but I have a feeling I won't get any more. Oh wait, the bag is back. I'll have one more. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> All right, I am reaching in here. Let's get something, oh. This is something that's going to be hard to share. We'll just have to bust it in half somehow. Hey now. This is a boba milk tea mochi. I'm trying to see if that'll focus. Let me see where this is from. I don't know. It's from Taiwan. Give your little info card here helps you out. You can decide where things are from. I look oh, I wish that I had the soda for this month. Okay, you can get extra, pay extra and have like a soda or a drink of some kind with your snack box. I chose not to do that. Um, the one that the soda that came with this month was the Felice White Cream Soda. It says the white cream soda that combines sweet and sour yogurt flavor and cream. Best to drink this one cold. That sounds delicious to me because I love cream soda. Anyhow, I'm going to cut this little packet. No smell to this one whatsoever. Oh, oh, but the tender squishiness of this mochi. Ah! <laughs> I love it. Even before I taste it, I love it because I love mochi and it is just so sweet and such a pain to make. Mmm. Milk tea. 
Oh my god, the middle tastes like milk tea. If you have never had Thai milk tea before, you're missing out on a treat. This tastes like milk tea. If the hand wants some, the hand's going to have to come a little closer. Okay, you can have it. That is really yummy. I like that one. Oh, oh. I wonder if we can order this one. I need to check on that because that is flipping delicious. Love me some milk tea. Love me some mochi. That the, the face attached to the hand is nodding like, yes, give me more. This is the only one. They only sent one of these. Are you kidding me? <sighs> All right. Calm it down. Calm down. Okay. The cheese balls are still getting devoured, by the way, just in case you didn't know. That's okay. You hang on to those. Oh, made in Mexico says right on there, Carlos the fifth or Carlos V. It's a Nestle bar. It's, it's made by Nestle, which Nestle is all over the world. Don't think they're just American or just wherever. Um, good to connect. Es bueno comunicarse. And they give you a number to call. Milk chocolate style bar. I wonder if that means it's not really chocolate. I mean, Mexico is like land of chocolate, and I'm not even kidding. You get, That's pretty much where it all came from is that area. All right, it's chocolate. Let's get into it. No more delays. Just a little bitty chocolate bar. <sighs> Carlos V. Imagina tu mundo. It's what it says right on there. <laughs> Love it. Mmm. Doesn't taste like Hershey's chocolate. Doesn't quite taste like normal Nestle's chocolate that I can remember. I've had a lot of chocolate in my life. Hello, I'm a fat chick. It's not like Cadbury's. But it does not also, does not taste like pure milk chocolate. It's, it is melting in my hands though. So, yeah, I'll let you have that. It's good, but it's not the best chocolate I've had. But I think it's cool. Is it just me or does that remind you of the Burger King? I'm just saying. So, no? You're not impressed with that chocolate? He's shaking his head no. Like I said, it's not like Hershey's. It's not Cadbury's. It's not Godiva. This is the kind of chocolate bar that you would give to kids on Halloween and save back the good chocolate for yourself. It doesn't suck. It's chocolate. Well, it's chocolate, but it's not, you know, the high quality up there chocolate. I mean, it'll do in a pinch, let's be real. But, yeah. I think it's a type of chocolate that would be better if it were not as sweet. You're probably right. Because this is definitely a milk chocolate style. But, yeah, I love dark chocolate anyway. But, yeah, it's all right. You know, it'll do. But, not my favorite. But it's not bad. And it's now gone, so go well, figure. Didn't suck. There you go. Anyhow, that is our three snacks for the night. I think that is enough snacks. Oscar could not eat. Well, he, he would never get to the mochi because he'd probably flap a lip over it, but there's not enough to share. That's gone. You can keep those because I know Oscar's going to want more. And the chocolate he can't have. So there you go. Where is my little boy? Is he still over there? Yeah. All right. I'm going to pause this for a second so I can get him because he hasn't made an appearance in a few videos and that's tragic. There. Now is the, the real star is here. Hey, Mont. Oscar. What is it? Did we disturb you? We disturbed him. Here, look at the camera. There you go. He said, the light is bright, Mama. Don't want to look at that light. Oh. Do you see why I just dote over this little thing? Good boy. Okay. That has been Snacks Around the World. Remember, 
Do you get an opportunity to try a snack that is not from your native land? Try it. You never know. It's going to be fun. This one is tired of looking at that bright light. I've got a ring light in front of me. And, uh, oh, he's getting nose boobs. He's getting nose boobs. Yes, he's a good boy. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.